end of day 10 um, and it started it's been generally sunny and blue skies apart from one bit throughout the whole day which has been fantastic and I started from Octorada and cycled straight to Perth just veered off course slightly because on my road bike it has very thin tires and a race saddle which is quite hard a light but hard now the roads in Scotland the views are, are beautiful certainly where I am now and in, in many parts of Scotland in the countryside but unfortunately the roads don't match they're hard and they're rough and they're not that smooth you notice when you cycle on really good modern tarmac it's lovely but on a road a race bike with certainly it's weighed down with 14 kilograms of kit and me um, it has obviously thin tyres and a hard saddle and basically my undercarriage has been taking one hell of a battering. You know, enough to put me off social duties for weeks. And so much so that I feel I actually have the sort of incredibly battered and therefore the boniest bum in Britain. And I thought I can't take this much more because every 20-30 metres of cycling I'd have to stand up on the pedals because I just could not take the discomfort. And I put that politely. Uh, I feel like there's this sort of bone somewhere there on my left part of my buttock, which is, it's just, just feels tender and raw and it's very uncomfortable. So I thought, right, let's go into what's going to be a good bicycle shop in Perth. And they're really helpful there and they have a sports touring gel saddle. So perfect soft saddle for my bike. You can see it in the background there. You can't see much difference, but if I held that up against the saddle that's normally there and I've been cycling with for the last nine days, nine and a bit days uh, on this trip, then you'd realize the difference. It's a lot softer. Uh, because what I was doing is actually folding up one of my tops I could have worn, because it's pretty cold up here in Scotland, and, and actually folding it and stick it <laughs> um, in my cycling uh, leggings um, to cover my left buttock just to help reduce the impact. And be that as it may, I've also worn through rear brake pads, which I knew on a month ago, uh, such as the intensity of the cycling I'm doing. Um, my front brake pads are almost gone. I've got some uh, bike um, uh, cycling liner gloves as well to go with my inner gloves, to go with my outer gloves. So it's getting quite cold up here. So that was sorted and that delayed me by about 45 minutes, but it was well worth the detour. Now, I passed through a lot of places that begin with B, Blair Gary, the beautiful Braemar, Balmoral, of course, where the Queen and the Royal Family likes to hang out. And now I'm in Balata. And I passed some beautiful places, including some with some great names. Um, like the Spittle of Glenshee, it's all very bra bricked, moonlit, nick the nicked, bon hoots. And uh, up to the Glenshee Ski uh, Chalet Centre, and now it's cold. At one point, I thought, this is May, I'm actually getting snowed on as I climbed up a three, three and a half mile steep hill. Um, I've had one or two problems today as well, that obviously money's been playing up, but. Um, Actually, the my lower quad in a quad on my left uh, thigh, um, I had about an hour worth of pain. Yes, there was pain. I had pain pretty well for five and a half hours. So that was about an hour, which really slowed me down as well. And I thought, you know, God, is this going to go on and on? Uh, and do I have to, you know, what do I do? Do I give up? I can't go on like this. So, you know, I gripped my teeth and went on through it and, and then pulled over as I entered the Cairngorms and there was this lovely sort of craft shop in the middle of nowhere that said they did tea brilliant they also did a most delicious chocolate cake that definitely helped and they were playing sort of soothing music it was warm oh it was just lovely i didn't want to leave because then i had some serious climbing to do but while there i came out and i bumped to this guy who was loaded down on a sort of a, a steel looking uh, sports tour bike an old bloke uh, in his 60s with a beard and a great big red poppy in the front of his cycling helmet and uh, this is Albert from West Yorkshire and uh, he thought well if I don't do it now I'll never do it so I've had three close friends who've died in the last 18 months I thought right I'm going to do this because I never if I never do then I'll, I'll feel really bad so he lives in West Yorkshire so what he did was cycle down from West Yorkshire down to Land's End back up again he's going up to John O'Groats and he's going to cycle back from John O'Groats to West Yorkshire's home is in West Yorkshire. So he's in effect going to do Land's End, John O'Groats, or the jog, or end the end-to-end -end twice. Uh, though he's taking his time. I mean, for instance, he says, if it's a really bad weather, I won't go out. You know, like last Sunday, that's the one where it was horrendous for me, and I 
Uh, I couldn't feel my fingers, and it was just the worst day cycling ever. He said, God, who'd want to go out on that? They'd have to be daft. And I said, well, that's me then. But a really nice chap, so we parted company as I sort of cycled on with the boniest and um, most battered bum in Britain. And now I'm at Ballater. Um, and I've had a lovely surprise, actually, because a friend of mine, a good friend of mine, um, has just called me and said, look, uh, our family have a sort of holiday home up near Loch Far, just southwest of Inverness, which I'm heading tomorrow, uh, heading to Inverness tomorrow. Um, come and stay. So, you know, we'll water you, feed you, and have a bed for the night. Brilliant. So that's a lovely surprise, lovely bonus. So I know I'll be looked after there royally. Um, and here's to tomorrow. <laughs>